So we're here on North Lake with our first evidence of large-scale rock cuts. You can see by just the sheer size of this rock cut that it must have been a quite the undertaking. You can see my approximate height and you can see the approximate height of this rock cut. just amazing what work must have gone through to build something like this you can see the obvious height the contrast between the height between myself and the height of the rock cut just amazing. On North Lake, we can see we're standing here on the railroad grade. And one interesting note, we can see the lake moving on up ahead there, making its way onto Little North. We can see the absolute the amount of crushed rock was probably blasted from probably some of it blasted from the rock cut that we just went through dumped to make the grade you can see that the vegetation doesn't grow very well on here namely in part because most of this grade is just it's just simply rock Pure and simple. Okay, so we're still on North Lake here, and we're standing on the railroad grade. And this is one of those examples. Oftentimes I'm really baffled by the engineering on this railway, but sometimes I'm just really truly amazed. This is one such example. If we pan down here, we notice that there's a shoreline here. What has happened is the railway engineers have built the grade across this small bay. You can see the shoreline through there. So what they simply did was just filled in probably with as much rock as they could possibly find filled in the bay though it may not seem large at this present moment it might have been probably was quite the quite the undertaking as we can see there's no there are a few deficits in it there's some sag which probably might be expected but it's still in rather good shape for for the work that was done here okay. so we're still here on North Lake and once again we've gotten ourselves into a nice nice rock cut you can see the height of this rock cut and if we pan back this way you can see the height of the rock here if we switch to a wide angle view we can see that this little cut is not very wide but we can see the sheer height of it you know I'm around this level. The height of the cliff is up there. You can see on this side. How it continues to go on and on. 
just gives you an idea of the tremendous amount of work that was done here. We're here on, let me check the map. Can't remember if we're on North Lake or we're, st no, we're on Little North now. And something that I've been waiting a long time to find. I have my evidence. The evidence that that the telegraph line was struck to Glen Flint. See our telegraph pole here. Excellent, purely excellent. North Lake. And we found the steel rails I've been looking for. And we'll sit down to read these things. M B H I and S Company Limited. 1890 MPR steel. There's some number S 10 4. So these rails are, were laid brand new. Okay, we're standing here on the shores of Little North Lake with further evidence that will of that the telegraph line being strung through to Gunflint. You see a telegraph pole. This one was not as good a shape as the other one was. It just seems to be fairly badly rotted. You see that it's all badly grown over with mosses and stuff, but it still remains its shape. You can see the bolts still there. Those are in pretty pretty decent shape. We can see here on the bottom the actual post for the glass insulator, but no no trace of glass insulators whatsoever. Which you know doesn't surprise me. Either they were either destroyed or, or broken somehow. In any case they probably wouldn't be around. <laughs> 